quarters of a million of us set by it in Britain. Loss of memory, confusion, a kind of vanishing, evaporating personality. Can dementia be halted or even reversed? Well, this sufferer and his wife and their daughter do think so. Because he tried this. It's a helmet dotted with um, LED lights that literally shone into his brain. Hi, I'm Clem Fennell. I've had dementia from two, uh, February of 2007. Within the last three months were a very steep decline. It came very quickly. Before I used the helmet, I couldn't remember anything. I couldn't order off the menu and uh, couldn't talk on the telephone. He would say yes and mean no, or say no and mean yes. 10 to 12 days, I started seeing the uh, help from the helmet. Since I started the treatment, I've had a real improvement. You know, a few weeks ago, he couldn't remember what he had done in the morning. Now he, he can tell you everything he did all day. I can remember more things and do more. We're seeing so much progress since he's been using the helmet. Now he's saying the correct words. So we are very hopeful that in, in the months to come, that he'll be able to go back to work. Well, the man who invented this uh, extraordinary device, um, Dr. Gordon Dougal, is here, along with uh, Dr. Marie Jansen, Director of Development at the Alzheimer's Research Trust. I must say, I, when I first heard about this yesterday, I was a little bit sceptical, as, as you would expect. Mm -hmm. And then I discovered this morning that you actually have a, a, an item that's licensed by the NHS, a small electrical device, on the same principle as this, which can help get rid of herpes very quickly. Well, cold sores, yes. That's cold sores. Yes. Uh, that's, again, with LED light sh shining on, on the herpes, it affects the cells and the sore goes away quicker than otherwise. Yeah, it actually affects the immune response of the cells. So and that's yeah. recognised by the NHS. Yes, you, can, you can get that on from your GP on prescription. Yes, you can, yes. So this is a kind of massive extension of that principle. Very, uh, oh, it is massive. I mean, the, the cold sore devices takes two LEDs, this takes 700. Explain to me how it works. Well, fundamentally, the actual lights are irradiated actually around the head. Um, the main thing is that it obviously goes through the skin, through the bone, into, into the underlying cortex. One, pe people perceive that ultimately the, the light doesn't actually penetrate the skin, but that's actually um, not true. Uh, possibly about 10% of the incident light penetrates through the cortex. Does it get through the, the skull? Yes, it does. Uh, the skull is, 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 is like frosted glass to infrared light. So, it's, so, it's, so the skull is the, the brain underneath is flooded with, with LED light? Yes, it is. Yeah. Why does it have to be LED? These are, the, these are very small bulbs you see on the torches you get for two yeah, it's, 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 this is a These are very specific custom-made sure. custom LEDs for a, at a specific wavelength. Right. The wavelength is actually crucial. I mean, that's why it's got the fans. Because well, what is the wavelength? 1072 nanometers. And what does that do to the cells that are being affected by dementia? Um, well, the neurons, it improves the, the actual function of the neurons. It regenerates them. Right. So, is, so a damaged cell re responds, is, is, is stimulated by this light, you say. To repair itself. And repairs itself. Yes. And thus reverses, not just stops, but reverses the advance of dementia. It, it reverses uh, the advance of dementia to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. From a, obviously to a certain extent, because obviously the, it only can repair the cells that are damaged. If the cells are dead, obviously those, those cells are dead. It doesn't increase uh, cell replication at all. Okay, but, it, but if the cell's still alive, it's got a fighting it's chance. It's got a fighting chance, definitely. How, how, how often do you have to wear these things? Uh, for Clem, we actually use it uh, to, for 18 minutes twice a day. And he's taken it back with him to America now? Yes, he has. Yes. And he's using it on the same basis there? Yes, he is. And what's the latest report from him? Oh, well, when I spoke to his wife, obviously, just, just last Friday, she, yep. she's actually very happy with the response. And still, he's, he's, still he's, still, he's still, still improving slightly. It sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Mm. What do you think? It's very difficult to tell. As you explained, uh, we still don't understand what the mechanism is. It hasn't been proven. Oh, do you mean, it's, it, right, to put that in layman's terms, it's basically, we think it may work, but we have no idea why. Exactly. Right, OK. And uh, so we need to understand that better. Uh, secondly, with a disease like Alzheimer's, any type of dementia, you have natural fluctuation in the actual disease. You so you mean that, so the gentleman we saw on that film may have happened to be wearing this at a time of natural improvement that has nothing to do with the helmet. Exactly. So you need a proper tr uh, control trials, don't you? That's right. And, and other factors like stress, anxiety, other illnesses, for example, can make dementia appear a lot worse than it is. Okay. And so hope and, and positive thinking can also improve it or at least make it look better. Do so you think it might be also, I'm, I'm, we're not saying that this isn't, it isn't having the effect you're saying, we're just exploring the, the, the alternatives. Are you thinking it might be the old placebo effect that, um, for example, if someone has an injection of water and takes a pill of chalk, they'll respond even better to, to the injection of water than they do to the placebo pill. I mean, if you look at the, the last 20 years where people have been trying to develop treatments for Alzheimer's, it's riddled with uh, drugs and treatments. We have shown fantastic positive results in mm -hmm. one or two or small number of cases. But when you scale it up, when you include uh, 
double blind, blind control, for example, it evaporates. It evaporates. Uh, so, okay. So, what are the plans for trialing this on a proper uh, scale? We, we plan to do a double blind trial. Okay. Uh, substantial numbers of patients. And if you get the results that you're hoping for, and that anyone suffering from dementia is hoping for, when do you think you might get those results? When might they be in? Well, we should, we're going to do the first double blind trial in the next three months. Really? That's, that's quick. That is quick. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. I do hope Thank you're you onto something big. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks a lot for coming in. Thank you. Um, okay, I've got to take another break. And then Amy Wine.